Alright, this is John Cola with OKRaw.com through with another exciting episode for you. And this is just another one of my famous shopping hauls. Check the links down below for previous shopping hauls I have done. Basically, I go to Los Angeles and actually this time I was there for a, a SoCal Veg Fest. So, uh, past couple episodes were actually from that event, my review of the event, and of, of also, of course, my talk at the event where I show how to make an amazing and delicious uh, red pepper soup that's raw, unheated, minimally processed, so you guys can eat the highest, um, you know, antioxidant-rich uh, dinner, all right? Anyways, in this episode, we're just going to go ahead and unbox the car, show you guys actually what I bought at the Wholesale Produce Terminal. Once again, if you guys want to shop the Produce Terminal, I drive from, uh, you know, Vegas to LA, four hours to go to the terminal. If you guys live in San Diego, even, you know, Bakersfield, you have no excuse not to drive the terminal like at least once a month to stock up because you will get some amazing deals. And also you have access to food that you may not otherwise be buying. Of course, I also stopped by some farmer's markets when I was down in SoCal as well. Um, yeah, and link is down below to uh, find out how you guys could shop at the Wholesale Produce Terminal in the description and also how I get my plant starts um, basically for high quality plant starts for super cheap so I could make my garden super easily. All right, let's open up the car and show you guys what I got. And basically, this is no joke. I mean, those of you guys that have came with me on these shopping hauls, only a few people in the world have done that. Um, I packed the car up to the brim today. I actually didn't pack the car up as much as I could. I had a couple inches at the top, so it was kind of nice. I could actually see out the rear view mirror for once. Um, normally, I basically pack on the boxes down below, and then I basically have a package tray, and that's actually what it's called. Um, and then I put basically cardboard on top and I basically just put all my plants up top. And so what I'll be doing, oh and then of course I got my plug-in cooler to keep all my food cold on the way down to LA. Basically I had like eight juices and some of my uh, soup that was all vacuum saved. And I came back with zero juices because I basically drank them all like one or two a day. Anyways, uh, as you guys can see, this, this one is empty. Actually, there's three flats in here that are empty, and that's because these got distributed in other places in the car, which, which I want to show you guys in a little bit. Um, but basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and unload the car and share with you guys actually what I got this trip and uh, how much it cost and why, all right? So first, got to start off with the plants because they're up top. they got to come out first. Um, basically, this is just a mix of uh, leafy greens for the winter for a friend of mine I got as a gift. And uh, all these plant starts are from CPG Nursery. All right, next we gotta take out this guy, and I'm sure the rental car company would appreciate if I um, <laughs> brush this off a little bit so it's not super dirty. And then of course we have lots more plants coming out. So this is basically um, one four foot circular bed I'm gonna plant out in these guys. This is all my uh, uh, heirloom uh, colorful red lettuces for the most part. For the winter time, I mean this stuff, I plant it now here and it's currently October and I'll be basically eating this stuff through March. I'll just be harvesting the outer leaves, so I'll have basically lettuce all year long just from an investment of 36 plants. Alright, next coming out we got a flat of ornamental kale, um, actually already, and cabbage. I already planted my bed of ornamental cabbage and kale, I think I need just one bed. But this is actually for a friend that requested it. <laughs> All right, I don't like being a taxi service too much though. I could have got like a couple extra flats for myself. All right, and then uh, next of course we got the sugar snap peas. Sugar snap peas I'm gonna plant now. They're gonna grow a little bit. Basically they're not gonna fruit until maybe next February, but uh, you know, they're gonna get nice and established. And they may not grow a lot in the winter, but it's not cold enough here for uh, to kill them. So as soon as the weather starts warming up, these guys will be in prime condition and I'll be eating some sugar snap peas real early. All right, next coming out, I couldn't resist, man. I had to get some uh, purple carrots. Basically, these are uh, cosmic purple carrots. And uh, I just got these to interplant. And last year, I let mine go to seed. Uh, I'll link down below a video I made about uh, letting my carrots go to seed so I could actually have seeds. And hopefully, they're just going to come up random spaces in my garden because I let most of them drop places. But I want to plant more. <laughs> these will probably get interplanted with my spinach this year. All right, next coming out, we got a flat of parsley. This is 36 plants. Once again, this will fill another raised bed or it might get planted in with a current bed that has onions planted. Um, parsley, I consider it a leafy green. Some people consider it a herb. You know, I would encourage you guys to eat parsley in high amounts. Like I'll basically just come out and clip a lot of parsley, chop it up, put it in a salad with some uh, mashed up avocado, garlic, and sprouted buckwheat, and call it a meal. 
All right, coming out next, we got a whole case or flat of arugula 36 plants once again. And you know, it's like arugula is pretty easy to grow if you just throw seeds down, it'll come up. But I really like the instant gratification of buying plants for really inexpensive and putting them in. And like literally in like a week, I could start picking some of these outer leaves of arugula so I could get this arugula into me and help out my blood vessels. They'll appreciate it. Um, arugula is in the Nebraska family plant, so it also is anti-aging and uh, anti-disease, such as the cancer. So I want you guys to eat lots of leafy greens. If you guys want to learn how, check out my other YouTube channel, Growing Your Greens. All right, so that was all the plants on the top, and then we obviously put cardboard here, so I didn't get the whole place dirty. <laughs> this would just all get recycled. And also, I didn't want to get basically all the all my fruits down below, like get all the little um you know dirt and perlite that's in the um, planting mix peat moss of course we have my backpack that has all my good travel stuff maybe one day if you guys want i'll go through what i have in my backpack including probiotics and enzymes and all my healthy natural personal care products um, let's see next coming out we got a, a case of organic actually arizona grown um tomatoes i don't i don't know how many pounds this is uh, oh, 25 pounds. 25 pounds of organic tomatoes. And look at these guys. These guys are nice looking. I might see maybe one moldy one in there, maybe. But these are in good shape. $10 for 25 pounds of organic tomatoes. Next, we got two coconuts at the dollar store. <laughs> and then the next, oh man, check these guys out. We got these guys. I don't normally buy these, but I saw them in a moment. I'm like, man, these look amazing. Look at these guys. These are exotic baby bananas. Now these are not organic. I normally only like to purchase organic bananas, but you can't really find organic baby bananas yet. I hope they have them one day. But look at the ripeness on these guys. These guys are so ripe. And they said bananas were, uh, basically this is 15 pound box. They said it was 12 bucks. And I went back later, it was still st sitting there. And I'm like, hey, will you sell me that ripe box for $10? And he said, yes. And I'm like, yes, ching. And check this out, right? Produce terminals are really cool because you actually get ripe, the ripest fruit for the lowest price because in their industry, right, ripe fruit is a liability, right? As a raw foodist, ripe, ripe fruit is a luxury <laughs> because most of you guys got to buy the stuff at the grocery store that's like the bananas they're selling you guys are green. So anyways, what I figured I'd do with these bananas can be totally cool. Oh my God, because I saw them, I'm like, what can I do with those ripe bananas? I mean, it might be fun to eat them because they're kind of, they taste better than organic bananas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to peel them and then put in my freeze dryer and I'm going to have basically freeze dried whole um, baby bananas. It's going to be insane. They're going to taste so good. I can't wait. Of course, then I have my uh, plug in travel cooler. I will go ahead and put a link down below to a video on this. Uh, this is indispensable as somebody who eats lots of fruits and vegetables um, inside here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We got some organic rainbow carrots. This is a dollar for two pounds at the dollar store. And I think mostly mainly in here we got uh, organic celery hearts uh, also at the 99 only store uh, for a buck. I'm on the uh, medical medium celery juice in the morning thing. I think it works. And uh, oh, in this, this box here. So in this box here we got some uh, white sapotes. Oh, they're moving all over and you can't really see them. Got some white sapotes and they're kind of being held in place with some bananas. White sapotes are from the Irvine Farmer's Market this trip. And we got some uh, Coco Rico. We got some young coconuts from Mexico in the husk. These are quite rare. They, they have a pretty good shelf life. If you put them in the fridge, store them at like 40 degrees, they'll easily last one month. I met a, a, a new friend from Brazil and I'm gonna, I wanna try to give her one of these because she misses coconuts from when she was a child. Oh, yeah, those were, were six for $15. And uh, next, of course, can't go to the produce terminal without replenishing my supply of red bell peppers. I want you guys to eat some bell peppers each and every day. I like to make a bell pepper soup, which was the previous episode. Um, these guys were 11 pounds of organic red bells for $9. So that's less than a dollar a pound. All right, coming out next, one of my favorite fruits in the world that you guys probably don't even eat or probably don't buy, unfortunately. It's the uh, red cactus fruit. You know, I still have cactus fruit from last trip, but I want to replenish more reds because the reds are phytonutrient rich and betalain rich. Um, quite delicious, quite good. 
I'll post a link down below to a video I did on the benefits of eating cactus roots. And uh, this is uh, basically 40 pounds for uh, six, $16. So that was quite a good deal. All right, coming out next, what we got here. I'll show you guys, because I want to show you guys how nice these look. I mean, one case of papayas. These are um, Mardoa papayas. From my research, they are not GMO, but they are conventional. Um, this was $16 for uh, 30 pounds of basically pretty ripe, and that's the only reason why I bought it, because I touched them and I'm like, whoa, these are ripe, I could eat these now. And if they're ripe, they're generally gonna be good, and unfortunately, most of the time you guys get papayas from Mexico, and they're nowhere near ripe, and they never ripen properly. So these have been ripened properly, and I, I was actually supposed to stop on my way home and eat one, but I just drove through, so. I'll, I'll eat one of you guys tomorrow. All right, last case coming out the back is organic pomegranates, right? Now this is why I go to the produce terminal, this whole case here, pomegranates. I mean, I don't even know, this is like maybe, maybe 40 pounds of pomegranates, right? And these are B grade, you know, they got some kind of mush at the top. They're getting a little bit soft, but they're gonna be fine on the inside. Um, eight bucks for like 30 pounds, 35 pounds of organic pomegranates. Uh, you know, pomegranates are basically a low calorie, high antioxidant fruit. So I want you guys to eat more high antioxidant, lower calorie fruits. Other fruits would include things like berries. Berries are another, um, you know, high antioxidant, low calorie fruit as well. You know, bananas are on the flip side. They're like high calorie, low phytonutrient. You know, tart cherries, another excellent uh, fruit. I actually get mine at uh, Costco. You could get those frozen. So I'd encourage you guys to get those. All right, so that's pretty much it. Oh, I got one more thing to show you guys actually from the back end before I go to the side doors. All right, so this is the coolest thing, right? Like this, this, uh, this car, it's a Kia Soul. I kind of like it actually, it's kind of cool. Hatchback. Anyways, it's got this little like uh, thing right where the trunk is and if you lift it up, it's normally where the spare tire goes. But look what John Kohler has underneath here. <laughs> John Kohler doesn't have a spare tire or storage or his weed stash. He has his plant starts. And this is uh, one of the three flats that I that was empty actually. I put them down here because they'd be safe. Um, basically that thing went over the top and these guys I uh, got basically a flat of 36 um, cilantro plat plants. And uh, I love cilantro. Best time to grow them is the cool season, which is now. Yeah, they bolt too quickly in the summertime. Um, underneath, so we got these guys in here. I thought these fit perfectly, man. Check that out, it looks so cool. And then we got some uh, spinach. So I'm gonna plant a nice big, like over 50 spinach plants in one bed. And then of course I got some of the uh, red vein sorrel, which I love so much because it basically grows year round. Sorrel um, has a nice, uh, it looks beautiful. Look at, look at the color on that, looks beautiful. Also has the right nice red pigments, you know, which are definitely really uh, good for you. And these guys are really easy to grow. They grow like a weed, literally. So let's see, I gotta take these out, put them in a flat, and then we're gonna meet you and open up one of the side doors so you guys can see how packed my car is. So I want to show you guys actually how efficiently I pack the car and also it's very important if you're packing the car and putting heavy stuff in the car, try to get it in the center of the car versus like the rear of the car to distribute the weight a little bit better, more on the front wheels than the back wheels. So open the side door and check it out, man. <laughs> more produce, what you'd expect from me. So of course we have those boxes to kind of like stabilize things. And uh, check this out, right? Okay, what we got coming out here is basically one whole bundle of uh, sugar cane. It's kind of wrapped up because I had to take it in the hotel, so I covered it. Um, but um, yeah, 30 pounds, 31 pounds of sugar cane fresh that I'll be running through my sugar cane juicer to make fresh sugar cane juice. Now, I want to encourage you guys, if you guys think sugar cane juice is bad, sugar cane juice is better than a, a Diet Coke, a Coke One, or a regular soda, or even orange juice. Sugar cane juice actually has less sugar than orange juice, and in my opinion, more of the trace minerals. Uh, you know, uh, sugar cane is a grass, so it's like, think wheatgrass. Wheatgrass absorbs all those minerals, so does the sugar cane. And uh, sugar, cane is mostly, sugar cane juice is mostly water. Um, yeah, so check the link down below for a video on that. If you guys wanna get sugar cane, and you guys are lucky enough to live in Southern California and you have your own juicer, uh, check out my buddies at Fresh Canes in Rosemead. They're formerly called uh, Dr. Jolly's. So they'll sell you this stuff for a real good price. And actually, I think they even have a used sugar cane juicer they're willing to sell right now. So uh, yeah, contact them. And I'll put a link down below 
to the uh, video I did at Dr. Jolly's. It's the same owner. They changed the name and actually revamped it, and it's a lot nicer. So I'll have an upcoming episode on them really soon. All right, more fruit coming out. Um, once again, like right here, basically this is just another case of the pomegranates you guys saw earlier, like 35 pounds for eight bucks. Amazing deal. So I think that that's the only thing that I got actually three cases of because it was such a good deal. And pomegranates will store fairly well in the fridge. And one more case coming out on the bottom here. Stuck in there pretty good. All right, this is another case. I mean, this is another probably 35 pounds easy. Um, organic uh, yellow peaches. So uh, this case here was uh, 16 bucks for a case of like 30 pounds, maybe 32 pounds of organic peaches. Now these peaches are hard. I'm not fooling myself. I didn't ever buy these and think, they're gonna be perfect peaches. I mean, here it is October. They're gonna be perfect like the ones I had right off the tree earlier in the summer at the farmer's market and all this stuff. They are not. <laughs> so I just hope these aren't super like cold damaged. And if they're really bad and they don't ripen up properly, that's all right because I'm just gonna juice them and I'm gonna have some amazing peach juice. Or actually I could just cut these up and then freeze dry them. So I'll actually freeze dried peaches that weren't probably picked super optimally ripe. They look really good but these guys are hard as rocks, all right? All right, we got one more case coming out, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I got. All right, last case coming out. It's kind of heavy. I'd say it's probably another 35 pounds or so. And uh, let's go ahead and take off the top here. Take a look. And uh, what these guys are, we got a case of grapefruits. Now, I don't normally buy grapefruits too often, but these are actually Texas grapefruits uh, versus Mexico grapefruits, which I find really the Mexican grapefruits really poor quality this got to be at least like 35 pounds and uh, these guys are red on the inside so they're more phytonutrient rich than the uh, ones that are not and uh, these guys are probably about uh, these were $16 for a box of like 35 pounds about you know 50, 50 cents a pound which is decent the other thing I like about the grapefruits is that they store really well I mean you could put these in the fridge at proper temperature they'll easily last a month um, my preferred method of using these guys because grapefruits lots of acid I don't really like eating a lot of acid fruits anymore kind of jacked up my teeth I want to encourage you guys to uh, minimize your acid fruit consumption I might like to basically just cut off the coloring and then put them through the juicer to make a, a rich full lower lower um, sweetness content with a lot of the uh, white pith which is more antioxidants and vitamins and minerals um, it'd be really mellow after I juice it that way and then I'm going to add coconut water and uh, make it even mellower and then I'm gonna drink it okay and then I basically got my luggage here just on the bottom of the uh, on the wheel uh, where you put your feet if you're a passenger and let's go around to the passenger seat and show you guys my co-pilot all right so for many people their dog is their co-pilot or if they have a significant other there's their co-pilot but you know what I'm single now so I just went to LA myself and by myself so here's my co-pilot <laughs> yeah a couple boxes so in this box we got one of my favorite fruits, the jujube fruit. These are actually on their way to being perfectly dried. I thought what I'm going to do with these on their way to be perfectly dried is actually just uh, instead of just air drying them how I normal how they're normally done, I'm going to go ahead because these are starting to get brown and gooey on the inside already. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up. Oh, and they smell good too. <laughs> I'm going to put up. Uh, oh, and these were three dollars a pound actually at the Irvine Farmers Market. Got some really nice organic ones, so that's really cool. Um, we're just going to cut them up and put them in the freeze dryer. So that's me like the bomb. If you guys never had a jujube, if it's perfectly ripened, it, it kind of has the same texture as the, the nougat. Remember the nougat in the Milky Way bar? And I think it has an ama amazing flavor. Maybe if I freeze dry some of these, I'll have to maybe dip them in chocolate <laughs> and see how they taste. All right. And so that was actually, I was snacking on those on the way back um, so that I wouldn't fall asleep because I'm notorious about like maybe not driving, being good at driving long distances by myself. But I did find this trip because I was... <laughs> Eating those guys are so delicious. And then my other co-pilot, plants. I love plants, they're so cool. And uh, here we just got this box of cauliflower that was empty. And then obviously I could put things on top of this so my plants would not get smushed. Um, and yeah, this fills the other half of, or one and a half flats that were empty along with the ones that were underneath in the back. Yep, uh, spinach, all right. And then of course, I'm um, also in here, we just basically got my jacket and then I have a cooler bag so in case I did have to buy additional things and keep it cold I could put it in these uh, cooler bags down below and then oh yeah in this bag 
Oh yeah, here's one of my snacks. So this is not blueberries, this is actually freeze-dried uh, beets that I did and I was actually eating those on the way there to keep me crunching, keep me eating something. If I'm eating something or if I'm seeing actually, you know, I usually don't fall asleep when I'm driving, <laughs> all right? Um, I want to get in one of those autonomous cars, all right? It's gonna help me out a lot, all right? And then uh, here we got some melons. So I got these uh, melons from Cal Poly Pomona and these were from the farmer's market in Irvine. They were $2 each, so this is actually pretty nice. I mean, they smell pretty good, but they're rock hard, so hopefully they taste good. If they don't, then they're just gonna get turned into juice. So we got like uh, a honeydew, a cantaloupe, and then uh, this cool guy. <laughs> that was like six bucks. Oh, one last thing I wanna show you guys. And the other thing I was snacking on the way home, like this has never failed. Like, I, if I get baby carrots and I'm snacking on baby carrots, like I'm crunching into them, I'm eating them, I basically eat the whole pound here, like, um, rainbow baby carrots. This is a dollar at the dollar store. Um, I'm not gonna fall asleep either. <laughs> so, I think that's pretty much it for my haul. I've unloaded the car, so thank you for joining me unloading the car. Now I gotta actually carry all this stuff in and put it away. So I got a few, uh, a little bit more work to do tonight. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, oh, and if you guys wanna learn how to do the shopping hauls like this, right? You don't need to be me to do these shopping hauls, but you can watch my videos because I show you exactly where to go and what to do so you guys can get the best deals on produce, can get the best deals on the plant starts, can, can actually put in a garden. I mean, I teach you guys actually the hows of eating a plant-based raw food dominated diet at the most affordable cost and having the best food ever, right? And that's what I want for you guys. I want you guys to start eating more fresh fruits and vegetables, especially the vegetables, guys. You guys can see, you know, I got, I mean, I don't even know, like over 100, 200 vegetable plants that I'll be growing. And I want to let you guys know that as much as I love buying fruits and vegetables, I love growing them more because, you know, investing in a plant start, you know, will really feed me for the next six months. Whereas, you know, these jujubes, once I eat them, poof, they're gone. I mean, I sh I'm going to try to plant some of the seeds of the jujubes and have a jujube tree and grow my own. And the tree is going to always, you know, give back to you. But the vegetables, you know, you buy the plant and then basically you're just picking off it for the next four or six months, right? Depending on what plant it is, when you plant it, what season it is and all that kind of stuff. Plus you can have higher quality food that's fresh picked, that's more nutritious, that even tastes better than the stuff at the store. I'm quite a fruit and vegetable snob these days, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, however you guys want to look at that. Um, so yeah, grow your own, eat more fruits and vegetables, you will feel the benefits. And I like to, uh, you know, juice some of the fruits and vegetables so that I could basically increase my uptake of some of these amazing foods on the planet. You know, I mean, like carrots, right? I mean, I eat a pound of carrots actually on the drive home today, but that's, that's abnormal. I don't particularly like to crunch and eat on carrots. I'd rather eat something more delicious, but I will juice a pound of carrots, which would just simply turn into eight ounces, a scant eight ounces of juice. And so that I could basically get the, the majority of the nutrition and the phytochemicals and phytonutrients, vitamins and minerals out of the carrots and into me so that I could be healthier uh, because of it and even have a better vision, <laughs> all right? Um, so yeah, eat your fruits and vegetables, grow them, plant them, whatever you guys gotta do. Um, links are down below to find out the nursery I went to, how I shop at the nursery, um, and the link is down below to how to shop the produce terminal in LA. Um, so yeah, watch those. I encourage you guys to go out and, and if you guys live anywhere in Southern California, like John, is there one near San Diego? No, there isn't. There's not one in Bakersfield. There's, there's not one in like, you know, Fresno. Drive to LA. It's worth the trip. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, thumbs this video up if you guys like this, want me to do more of my shopping hauls to show you guys actually what I'm buying, what I'm eating, uh, and what I'm planting, uh, you know, for the next couple weeks. Um, also, be sure to uh, share this video with somebody else. Maybe you know a friend or a family member that lives in Los Angeles and they could find out what I'm buying and how, how they could do it too through my other videos. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on any of my new and upcoming episodes. I've coming out every three, uh, five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And if you guys already are subscribed, make sure you also click that little bell so you get notified when my new episodes come out so you don't miss any uh, new information or new videos that I post. Um, and finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge of refiner videos on this YouTube channel at this time. Teach you guys all aspects on how you guys can avoid the pitfalls and eat the most healthiest fruit and vegetable dominated diet ever. So uh, with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. And until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables. They're always the best.